Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show all about comic book inspired original series on Prime Video. I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Prime Video channel. Today we're spotlighting Duplicate, also known as Kate Cha, a superhero who can create multiple copies of herself but don't be deceived by her seemingly straightforward ability. There's much more to her than meets the eye. First, we'll dive into some of her comic history, then we'll examine how it compares to the duplicate introduced in the Invincible animated series. Before we get into Duplicate's debut in Invincible number two, let's start with her origin story, presented in the Invincible Origins issue. Duplicate's powers come from an ancient curse set by a Chinese emperor against a rival warlord, which foretold that a distant descendant would be overwhelmed by a family too large to handle, driving them insane. This curse eventually affected a descendant of the original warlord, who was left with twins Kate and Paul after his wife died. The twins had the unusual ability to multiply themselves, a power that eventually drove their father to madness. As they grew up, Kate and Paul learned to control their abilities and use them to fight crime. Kate joins a group of young superheroes who call themselves the Teen Team, led by Robot. Meanwhile, her brother Paul's whereabouts are unknown. While with the team, Kate meets and forms an alliance with Invincible, which happens in her debut in issue number two. We soon learn things aren't all good among the Teen Team members when Adam Eve storms out after catching Duplicate and Rex Flo flirting with one another, implying a secret affair has been going on. Shortly after, the Teen Team is shut down so that Robot can select and lead new members to replace the Guardians of the Globe team after Omni-Man killed them. Duplicate is one of the superheroes chosen to become a new Guardians of the Globe member. Later, Kate starts a relationship with the Immortal, a superhero who had been brought back to life and made leader of the Guardians. Despite the challenges and battles they face, Kate and the Immortal develop a strong bond with the Immortal confessing to another teammate that he hasn't felt this way about someone in a very long time. Duplicate? Keep doing what you are doing. All right, we'll put a pin into Duplicate's comic book deep dive, but we promise to revisit it again later. For now, we will move on to the version of Duplicate we meet in the Invincible animated series. Just like her debut in the Invincible comics, Duplicate makes her debut with the teen team in episode two, when they show up to take on an invading alien race known as the Flaxons. Duplicate's power set is on full display during the sequence of action scenes. In season one, episode three, Eve catches Rex Blow and Duplicate's post-shower liaison. Eve storms out, but not before expressing her disappointment with Duplicate, whom she, at the very least, considered a trustworthy teammate. Duplicate tells Eve that Rex told her that he and Eve were no longer together because she had started dating Invincible, which isn't true. A little later in the episode, Duplicate is among the heroes selected to become the new Guardians of the Globe led by Robot to replace the members killed at the hands of Omni-Man. When Black Samson says his two cents about not wanting to take orders from a bunch of ones and zeros referring to Robot, Duplicate is the only one to say something to him about how offensive it is. Not even Rex could be bothered to say anything in a defense of Robot. For the rest of season one, Duplicate makes the rest of her appearances with the Guardians of the Globe. When we catch up with Duplicate in season two, she is still a member of the Guardians of the Globe as they take on a giant villain who wants to be an astronaut. The Immortal is reintroduced as the new leader of the Guardians of the Globe because Rudy's leadership hasn't been up to par. It's not until episode two that Duplicate finally has an opportunity to go off on Rex Flo, who assumes she's a ready and willing partner to get into some more shower shenanigans with him. She reminds Rex they are not a couple and that his language is inappropriate for the workplace. And then there is the big reveal that Duplicate and the Immortal are in a budding relationship. When Rex tries to press Duplicate about it, the Immortal puts him in his place on her behalf. Oh, are you sh me? You goddamn geriatric hypocrite. This is none of your business. Oh, come on! You and I were never a thing. The Immortal and I are. Deal with it. Kate, don't do this. In season two, episode three, Kate wants to address the ongoing tension between her and Rex. 
At first, the conversation doesn't go anywhere, but then Rex is finally ready for Kate to level with him. She opens up with Rex about how the immortal is the only person she's met who has died as many times as she has, and that they've bonded over their unique existences. It's one of the rare moments in the series in which Kate is vulnerable, and we get to peek into her thoughts outside of being a member of the Guardians of the Globe. In episode 5, Kate's powers are on full display as she, Shrinking Ray, and Rex Blow take on members of the Lizard League while the rest of the Guardians are out in space taking care of a sequit threat. Unfortunately, despite Kate's best efforts, she is killed by Komodo Dragon. When the rest of the Guardians return from their space mission, they all take the news of her death hard, with a mortal taking it the hardest. He gives a touching eulogy for Kate at her funeral and soon after shares with Black Samson how much Kate meant to him. But all is not lost. Kate makes an unexpected reappearance in the season 2 finale. Immortal is taken aback because he finds her waiting for him at a secluded cabin in the mountains. She reveals to him the existence of a hidden copy of herself, a revelation that leaves Immortal at a loss of words and a sweet end to what was thought to be a tragedy. And that concludes this deep dive character session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. And remember, you can now check out Invincible Seasons 1 and 2 on Prime Video. Mm -hmm.